being a pirate as far as being, you are a pirate. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, back in hell. to the the Pirate's Curse Part 12. And it's, so, time, uh, it's time for the Hell Dragon. Dagron. Dagron, yeah. Yeah, massive asset reuse, creative names in the in naming indeed. Actually, they actually they just called out on their own name. It's a mass. It's, it's actually misspelled. And they just okay. said, you know what? Roll with it. <laughs> okay, so then in that case, which is better, calling a dragon Dagron or calling a snake rope? <laughs> oh, Dagron, because that at least sounds like dragon. Like, how the no. hell is snake even related to a rope? Well, they're long, curly. I I just stretchy. I just like rope because it's, it's supposed to be a really is a really bad pun. Is it supposed to be a pun or is it supposed to be a joke? Wait, is it supposed to be any of those? I thought it was just like a translation error. Well, what the the snakes in Zelda being called rope? I think yeah. that was intentional. I think I'm pretty sure that's intentional, is it not? A anyway, anyway, off topic here. Uh, this is the this is the hell dragon, the hell boss. So uh, basically, what, you, what, I'm, what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to use the uh, speed booster to uh, hit the switch on the side. And you're supposed to make so so that these platforms up here, and you can try and knock down uh, Dagron. Uh, you're yeah. tempted to say dragon, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, you're supposed to knock him down so that you, uh, you can stun him and then you know continuously smack his face. Uh, yeah. So you know, I always thought the guardian of hell would be like a like a, a dog, like a uh, hell dog or hell. You mean like like a Cerberus. Like like Cerberus or something, but no, it's a dragon. <laughs> dragon, but dragons are epic. I know, but and, and when you and, think and, and, when and you, you think something guarding hell, you think Cerberus, not a dragon. Well, when you think when you think you know molten lava, you think dragons too. No, you don't. No, you I think, think molten. Like, you think that monster from Mario, what whatever his name was. The Blargs. Yeah, Blargs. Or the Potabos. I think they're Blargs. Blargs, yeah. Yeah, they're, no, no, no. I, I know, I know, I know. There's two different things. I just didn't know which one you meant. Yay. No, Wait. But for, for but no, what for dragons is like you know it's, it's a castle, a castle of lava. Um, well, no. When I think dragon, I don't necessarily think fi I don't think magma. I think more fire than magma. I don't even think fire. I think like mountain. Yeah. But that too. But magma is hot, like fire. Do we just get a map for oh. fro for a uh, frostbite island and a place of yes, magma from this totally not gadded looking guy? No, this guy's more way more buff than Ganon. <laughs> uh, are you sure about that? Call Hyrule it Warriors Ganon was pretty buff. I don't know. I don't know. No, he's no he just had nice. He just had. Hyrule nice Warriors isn't canon. I have to, it's, I have to it's, no, it's, it's the truest canon. It's the best canon. After I wonder why Way Forward made him into a silhouette though. Uh, mystery? Question mark? Yeah, well, that goes without saying, but still, like, kind of wish it was more detail for that guy. Anyway, now that we got the the speed booster, we can actually find a couple of things. So forgive me for my ignorance, but people who have gone to hell and back, is it really this easy to go to hell? <laughs> well, any game that involves you going to hell, for some reason. They make it some way easy for um to get out of hell. Look like, at like Kratos. He just he literally just climbed back out as he was falling. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least yeah. climbing out of hell makes sense. But you kind of just went to the right and then. But, you but ended to be up fair, that wasn't really hell. That was the underworld. <laughs> What's the difference? Practically hell, same, but sa same difference. <laughs> yeah, I want to say what's the difference between the underworld and hell? Well, actually, well, the underworld is where everyone goes to die, and hell is where evil people go to die or whatever. But, but yeah, I know what you mean. Cause I think I'm pretty sure there's been like some kind of grandpa that separated the two. I'm pretty sure there's some there's play, there's things that are actually different than we're that we're not what that we don't know, but whatever. Well, there's a whole uh, different well, levels of uh, the underworld and stuff. Well, the, point, the point is the point is that we're trying to make is Shantae is indeed a genie, or at least yeah. she was. But Wait, well, for so some she's reason, a regular grand, human grandpa? now, right? Yes. Uh, that, you're not grandpa. Now he's a uh, void so, from Berserk. Can you imagine buy? Wait, can you imagine like buying a game like Shanti for like your little brother, or, like your son, your daughter, or something like that? And then, th and then you get to this part with them, and they're just like, "The fuck's going on?" <laughs> I well, thought this game was ready E for everyone. Well, they're still a most cartoony, so they might look past it. Is it actually? Actually, no. Hold on. Let me check the rating for Shanti. I think it probably is, but let me check the rating. It's at the sure. very. It's at the very least E ten. Uh, let me see. 
because it's, it's too cartoony for it to really give the to give the you know to you know wave that flag of you're in hell. True, but you also got to remember fan service exists. It's not that bad. <laughs> I mean, well, not bad, but it's not that uh exposed. Eh, you remember we live in a western. We live we live in the west side of the world. So where's Way Forward from? From Japan or here? I think they're American. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure at the very least they're probably some teenagers that that uh, teenagers of our so generation. Back, so they, back so to they Panzer understand. Island? Anyway, uh, as I was um, to bring up the topic of the rating, yeah, Shantae's rated E10 for everyone for fantasy violence and suggestive themes. Sure. Make of that make of that what you will. They, they sure are suggestive. Well, I got a suggestion. Well, for you. <laughs> well, I got a suggestion for you. Play this game; deal it's great. It. Oh well, that too. But deal with it. <laughs> there you go. Ah, oh, shit! I missed. I just realized that was money. <laughs> Do you really need it, though? Actually, not really. At this point, I pretty much no. I still got to max out a few more things, but otherwise, I'm pretty much okay. Anyway, all that you get a sword that you can't even you, use. Will you actually use it? No. Nope. Uh, I already have Shantae. I already have a sword. Nah, to be but fair, I'd rather. To looks be fair, like Alistair from DMC One. Nah, to be fair, I'd actually rather use this sword than the other one. Gotta go fast. Yeah, but scimitars are lame. Broadswords oh. are cool. Hey, scimitars are the shit. You shut up. <laughs> I use those all the time in RuneScape when I used to play it. I I I use them all the time in real life. If I owned a scimitar in real life, I wouldn't let you know. <laughs> Sorry, I thought we were bros. Do you want to come to somebody's house who you know owns a scimitar? Well, well I, I have I, a bunch I, of I, friends I, who own katanas. Yeah, and so. And well, yeah, but that's different. And some and some black people carry machetes. Actually, my dad does. Yeah, there you go. Where are we going with this? Um, what, uh, swords are cool. Uh, so, okay, yeah, I, th I think we can agree blades are cool. But I think katanas are overrated. I will agree with you, but I, that won't stop me from liking them anyway. Alright, yeah. It's, it's just funny. And halberds are underrated. The fact that I'm forgetting what that even is shows that you're completely right. Well, Dude, halberds are the coolest. You know, I'll be know the what? I'll be the odd man. I always I always loved the way how the Monado looked. Yay, dark no, magic. That's not even a real fucking blade. Yeah, it's I not like even the a real fucking drive. blade. <laughs> it's not even a real blade, goddammit. It's, it's, it's an energy sword. It's, it's, Ooh, so, so, hey, so, uh... Uh, this is a uh, canyon with Halo. No, uh, well, if it was, no. then you'd have Shulk being like the supreme leader of the universe. If it was, you'd have more to say. <laughs> yeah. Just, you know what? just kind of you know how uh, that one game is a uh, canyon to Assassin's Creed. So when will one of us? Uh, so when, when, when will we get get around to seeing by Chronicles next? Uh, Ramon's probably gonna do it, and uh, um, I'll probably do the now. original Xenoblade first. And, and Jerome, considering how much you love Xenoblade Chronicles X, that probably means you're gonna handle that. Ah. I'm, I'm good. I'll do I'm Xenoblade in like 20 years. I'm the capture card, I swear. With the money that you don't have? With the money you're saving for a body pillow? No, Selene's doing that for me. So, uh... Let it, be, let it be known that I did not sign a contract. Okay, so back to Shantae. You're about to see the reason why... You're, about, you're soon about to see the reason why... The speed booster is so great. Grandpa! Can we shine spark with it? Yeah. No. No, I actually... You, you build me up and then you break me down, you son of a bitch. Listen. You did that on purpose. <laughs> listen, you gotta understand something, alright? The way how the game shows you just how much better you've gotten. Is that an incomplete sentence? Yep. Huh? Did you complete your sentence there? Well, no, I think I, no, I cut off there, sorry. Uh, <laughs> but we'll soon we'll soon see why it's so awesome. I just freaking love the speed booster. Any game that has a speed booster is great. Halo Four was not a good game. Slotty, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you're triggering Ian. <laughs> no, I think Ian agrees with me. <laughs> I'm so triggered. No, that's why. I, that's why I said you're being triggered. I'm so. I'm so. I'm no. so He's gonna go on a 20 minute rant now. <laughs> For what? With what again? I won't let I won't let him go on a twenty minute rant for that. Thank you very much. I'm not gonna let him do yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> I got caught up with. Besides, there's only seven minutes left. 
Besides, you gotta remember something, and I edit the parts. I can edit out your voice if I damn well want to. Plus it's seven minutes. And replace it with the chief's voice? Yeah, you could just replace it with the chief voice. Alright, so now we're back. So now we're back here. Aren't so, you dead? I am dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, wait, I, I have a question, right? Uh, forgive me if, I, if you, I already asked this, but where is this guy in hell? So, I don't think we actually see him. Actually, there's like, more... Actually, if there's a, there's actually more to this guy um, than what we can see. Uh, it turns out he's actually the boss of that place. Huh. He's, he's the boss, the boss hell? of hell. Yeah. So, like, because right now he's realizing what Shantae's uh, here for. Hell has its own corporation, apparently. <laughs> see, it's his night job. And also, apparently everyone in hell loves to show midriff. Then again, that's nothing to complain about. Ah, oh, you got a lost soul. Oh no, you gave a lost soul. One. <laughs> and Roddy called it a wandering soul. So apparently it's asleep, so now you gotta figure out- the f so you gotta trigger the right memories from it. And... how do you do that? I was gonna say, that's a very- that's a very specific thing to have to do to get a lost soul to work again. Well, that's exactly what she's talking about right now. <laughs> and you just figured it out. It he he actually played in diaper commercials. Oh, that that's embarrassing. Huggies. Barracuda Joe. Yep. Oh, that's the uh, um. So the that's guy the guy who's frozen the carbonite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he's not he's not quite dead. He's, he's just mostly yeah, yeah mostly, mostly dead. Mostly dead. <laughs> Please open his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that movie was great. Remember, yeah. remember, guys, there's, there's a huge difference between mostly dead and all dead. Well, I mean, Sonic proved that. Well, okay, that was bullshit in Sonic, though. Yeah, I, I know, but he still proved it. <laughs> hey, hey, guys, remember remember at the end of the day, it was erased, so it, it never happened. Not until Sonic Generations. <laughs> until Sonic Generations. Wait, so what does her counterpart say in the Underworld? She basically just doesn't remember anything pretty much they got yeah. they don't remember how she got here or anything like that so basically yeah basically her basically her real body's in hell well her zom you know, zombie actually, bodies in the real world yeah and they have no connect they have no connection whatsoever it's in terms of uh in terms of memories but apparently when apparently when her real body in hell goes to sleep she gets the memories of she briefly gets the memories of her, of her zombie form Huh. Oh, okay. So that's how. So that's how she. So, I, so she indirectly remembers Shantae in hell. So I think I might have asked this before, but what happens if the zombie uh, risky? Uh, sorry, not risky. Roddy tops and the real risk Roddy tops see each other. What happens? Uh, Is there, like time paradox. Then they divide Whoa. by zero. Who knows? I might. They might actually get uh, expanded upon in the next Shantae. Possibly. Have a genie hero. Anyway, this is why the speed boost is also great. All that, all that manual running is now cutting. Now you don't have to care, or even less. <laughs> so you, know, you gotta Ian, go faster. Ian, Ian, you sum it up pretty perfectly. You don't have to care. You can just run, <laughs> except for the few uh, pits of death. <laughs> okay, well, as long as you can tap a button, I think you're good. <laughs> tap or hold. Jesus Christ! Those moving tap. so fast. Those guys, are, those guys, completely shattered to pieces. <laughs> so wait, where are we going now? Oh, okay. You know, I wonder what the villagers must think when they see like a like a woman running with a scimitar, like blazing through the streets at 300 miles an hour. At 300 miles an hour. Oh, just another day in whatever the hell this place huh, is. I need to stop drinking. It's sequin land. Stop lifting. <laughs> so, wait, is this guy supposed to be like um, a parody of He-Man? Um, you might actually you're actually not wrong. <laughs> He-Man. Oh, He's he kind of he kind he's kind of halfway there. So he even has a He-Man costume. <laughs> Perfect for cosplay. <laughs> He-Man's he distant cousin. She-Man. No, it's um. Tree-Man. Tree-Man. Ah, uh, Tree-Man. No, no, no. That's Captain Planet. <laughs> All right. Uh. What about Captain Rainbow? What about oh, that, Captain that's Rainbow? Our, that's, that's already taken. No, it's not. Not really. To be fair, what's in most people's hearts is probably not something that you want to see. It's mostly just blood. 
and possibly like high levels of cholesterol. Maybe a tumor or two. Tumor, possibly. Yep. <laughs> Dialogue for this. <laughs> the Grim Reaper's ghost. <laughs> All right. You wouldn't think he'd have one. Ah, so the so the ghost of the ghost of Shaft has a friend. The ghost of the ghost of death. So apparently, we just confirmed that indeed ghosts can have souls. <laughs> you could even say demon souls. All right, that was uh, that's cringeworthy. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I, <laughs> and I did that, that it. That doesn't just, even make any I, sense. And I did it just because. <laughs> and now Armand has the itch to Shantae play dark souls. <laughs> Shantae and dark souls canon now. It confirmed. That wouldn't even begin to work. Yeah. Well, you that can use a scimitar even... in Dark Souls, I guess. That oh, that one similarity. <laughs> yeah, two bad scimitars are garbage. Why do they do only one D four points of damage? Oh uh, no, it's just the damage not good enough. Are they actually garbage in Dark Souls? Yeah, yeah, they are. Do, uh. do, do, you, do you at least get scimitar polish? No. No. Because Sean is this game. You say scimitar polish? Yes, there's scimitar polish in this game. And that makes what does it do? It makes your sword stronger. Uh, so by polishing the blade, it just makes it stronger. Yep. Not, not sharpening. Sharpening the blade do that? Anyway, next time across Fretcons, we find out. 